In the last few steps, we discussed about the most important features of Spring Framework. One of the important things about Spring is that it's one of the very few frameworks that remains as popular today as it was 15 years back. 15 years back, I was starting my career as a web developer. And I remember most of the frameworks from those days have lost their context. But Spring is one of the very few frameworks which retains its importance even today. So what's the reason for this? How did Spring maintain its popularity through these one and a half decades? That's the subject of this specific video. The most important reason Spring is so popular is because it enables writing testable code. The core feature of Spring is dependency injection. And if we use dependency injection properly, then we would be able to write unit tests for our code very easily. Spring has really good integration with frameworks like JUnit and Mockito, and it enables us to write good unit tests very quickly. The second reason why Spring is so popular, there is no plumbing code at all. What do you mean by plumbing code? I'll take an example. Look at this example, which was done using JDBC. You can see that this is about 20 lines of code. I had to write a lot of code to get simple functionality working. If you look at code, most of it is involved in try catch in exception handling. Your method throws a checked exception. So you have to really handle it. And once you have to handle it, then you need to make sure that everything is closed properly. And that's where Spring comes in. With Spring, the amount of code that you need to write becomes almost next to nothing. So if you look at the corresponding method in Spring Framework, almost zero exception handling code because Spring makes all its exceptions unchecked. So you don't really need to do all the exception handling and stuff. This code which you see in here is the plumbing code. So with Spring, you don't have any need to write plumbing code. There is no plumbing code at all. So if I'm writing 100 lines of code, it's most probably some business logic. It's not unnecessary code, which is not needed by the application. The other reason why Spring is very popular is the architecture flexibility it brings in. As we looked at in the previous steps, Spring is very modular. There are Spring modules and Spring projects for very specific purposes. And I can use a specific Spring module without using all others. So even though Spring has a really good MVC framework, Spring MVC, it still offers good support to all the other MVC frameworks like struts. Even though Spring has its own REST support through Spring MVC, it does offer good support with Jersey as well. I mean, Jax Iris as well. If I use Spring in my project, my options are not really restricted. So if I choose to use Spring in my project, I still have the flexibility to choose other frameworks. And that's very important. And the last reason why Spring is very popular is it is able to stay with the trend. For example, in the last few years, there is a lot of evolution with microservices and cloud. And Spring is able to come up with projects which helps it stay relevant. Spring has introduced the new project called Spring Cloud. There is Spring Boot as well, which help you to develop microservices very quickly. So all these things help Spring stay current and that helps Spring Framework retain its popularity. In this video, we looked at the four reasons why Spring remains popular. Because it enables testable code, because it does not have any plumbing code, because of its flexible architecture, and because it stays up with the trends. The idea behind these 10 steps was to give you a big picture overview of the Spring Framework. We hope we were successful in doing that. Until the next step, bye-bye.